What's up guys? On the way to uh, the athlete meeting for World Strongest Man, they typically uh, kick off World Strongest Man every year with a uh, athlete meeting, kind of giving us a rundown on on where everything is, uh, you know, how everything's gonna run, that type of thing. So I'm actually really interested uh, to see what they say in this meeting because as of right now, I don't fully know what my uh, group is doing for our events. Uh, I don't know what weights we're gonna be lifting. You know, just some details like that, which is kind of crazy, but uh, hopefully everybody's in the same boat uh, with that and, um, you know, I, I'm prepared for whatever they're gonna throw at me. So uh, we're gonna go do that and then after that, we've kind of got uh, all the behind the scenes stuff for World's Strongest Man, so interview, medical, um, that type of stuff. So should be a, uh, a productive uh, day. All right guys, so we are behind the scenes now. This is my digital interview for World's Strongest Man. So it's pretty neat. This is kind of some of how they uh, do some of the specialty shots for the uh, actual TV show, how it gets put together. Um, so, you know, this is kind of used for social media, for the show, some of the behind the scenes stuff. So it's pretty neat, um, you know, when you, when you come back here and uh, when everything is cut and put together at the end, it is what makes the show look so cool. So uh, this is a team of people that uh, makes it all happen. And uh, last year we were out in the blazing sun and heat doing this. So I'm very happy to be inside uh, in an air conditioned room. It'll make it a lot nicer this year. I was able to get a little break after my interview there, kind of go back, get off my feet, relax, get some food in, and now I'm on my way back to do my medical testing. So leading up to World's Strongest Man, we actually have to do uh, kind of a full physical blood work, ECG, uh, just basically get checked out and send all that in so that we're allowed to compete at World's Strongest Man. And then today they just do a follow-up to all of that testing. So. I'm not sure exactly what they're gonna do, but uh, I'm gonna head in and get that done now. So the medical went uh, as planned, pretty routine, just kind of check out there. And then uh, I was able to hop in and get some soft tissue work done, as well loosen me up just kind of from the travel here, the journey. Uh, my back tightened up a little bit and, and uh, my glutes a little bit, but uh, definitely feeling really good after that. And then uh, kind of came out to a lounge area, just uh, always gotta be pushing the food, get the next meal in. So uh, I'm gonna work on getting this down now and um, see what the next adventure is. I've been bouncing all over the place today, but I had the opportunity to come over to the Sports Performance Center and get in a cold tub. And you know me and cold tubs. If there's a cold tub available, I'm getting in it. So uh, they were kind enough to kind of open the doors um, and uh, give us the opportunity to come over here and uh, get some recovery in. Unfortunately, they don't have a, a hot tub, so I can't really do the contrast uh, bath, but getting in the cold tub I know will be uh, super beneficial for me and uh, help my body to feel amazing. So. Uh, that's what I'm going to do now. This is, uh, I'm impressed with how cold this cold tub is. Uh, I was kind of thinking they might have it a little bit warmer, uh, but it is not warmer. It's actually, it's amazing how cold it is. I mean, it's kind of taking my breath away, which uh, I'm, I'm used to this, so that doesn't normally happen, but it is, uh, it is very cold. So they don't have a hot tub, but they have a, uh, a shower that I can make hot. So I'm gonna do the contrast this way, kind of get in the shower uh, for a couple minutes and then hop back in the cold tub for a couple minutes. day here.
here and uh, I know I said going into the athlete meeting this morning there was still some questions about uh, events that I was gonna have to do weights that I was gonna have to lift here at World Strongest Man and those questions finally got answered so um, let me kind of just break down how it's gonna work I think the biggest question that I had personally going in uh, to the contest was what the overhead um, was going to be in my qualifying group. So it was essentially either a log or a dumbbell. My group uh, is gonna have a dumbbell. So I also found out the weight of the dumbbell is gonna be 220 pounds. So I, um, I was kind of indifferent on those. I mean, it would have been nice certainly to know a little bit sooner, but uh, I trained both and, and I felt good with both. So. Um, I'm not I'm not upset about that. I feel good about the dumbbell uh, truck pull They're they're still testing the truck pull and and um, that is something I figured they would do That's normal with the truck pull um, in in a strongman contest You need to test a truck pull where you're actually gonna do it So I think they're gonna take that out uh, maybe tomorrow and test kind of where uh, where the truck pulls actually gonna happen and then from that testing they're actually gonna set the distance right now I think it's gonna be around uh, 25 meters, which is like 82 feet. So um, I'm excited. Apparently it's like two monster trucks that we're gonna pull uh, in tandem. So I'm sure visually it's gonna look awesome. And uh, with those big tires on those monster trucks, sometimes they don't really roll. Uh, so hopefully it's a hard pull and we have to work really hard through it. That would uh, be better than uh, some of the poles like, like the one they had last year, for example, was literally just a speed race um, next event is very interesting uh, actually when I thought this wasn't gonna be an interesting event it's the uh, a medley event and it's a farmers walk and um, super yoke event and in training I thought this would probably be uh, most likely a yoke into a farmers walk and um, what they've done is they've actually flipped that so it's gonna be a farmers walk and those are a, a fairly normal weight. Um, I think they got them down here at uh, 350 pounds in each hand. So good weight, uh, uh, definitely competitive weight with the farmers. And um, we've got to, uh, I think we got to take that uh, 15 meters. So definitely not, I mean, it's a good distance. And then, um, then the fun starts with the yokes. So the first yoke is, uh, uh, 450 kilograms, which is roughly a thousand pounds, and I figured that the yoke would be somewhere in that range. But um, the crazy part is we have to take that that thousand pound yoke, uh, eight meters, um, which is a, a fairly short run, and then we have to pick up another yoke. But the second yoke is um, roughly 1,300 pounds which uh, is, is crazy. I mean, the heaviest yoke they've ever done at World's Strongest Men is 1,100. Um, so for them to come in with a yoke that's 1,300, uh, I am all but sure, well, I didn't, I didn't prepare for that. And I'm sure that uh, there's guys coming to this contest that have literally never picked up a 1,300 pound yoke in their life. Luckily, I've, um, I've done that and uh, I did really well on the heavy yokes that we had at the Arnold, which were, you know, the heaviest one we ever did there was 1,565 pounds. So I, um, you know, if I would have known that in advance, I would have done a little bit different uh, preparation, but we have to pick up that 1,300 pounds uh, and move with it for a very short distance, um, which is uh, three meters. So I think that's something like eight or eight or nine feet uh, that we have to go there. So. That will be an interesting one, I'm sure for everybody, because uh, if I'm surprised by the heavy yoke, I'm sure there's a lot of guys that are um, wondering if they can even pick that up. But uh, the next is deadlift for reps. Uh, I think it's it's actually gonna be a uh, some type of two car deadlift apparatus that they're they're building. So it's, it's gonna be a new apparat apparatus, which is actually pretty exciting. Um, to see something new coming in. And uh, with the tandem cars, I'm sure it'll look great. Um, I'm looking forward to testing that in the yard and seeing uh, seeing what that's all about. And then, like I said, dumbbell for reps. So those are my four uh, qualifying events. And then if, if uh, I'm in first place after those four events, I get to skip the fifth event and go straight to the final. 
um, for the guys that are in second and third, they go into what they're calling a last man standing, which is essentially a stone loading battle. So you stand face to face, you have a bar in between you, pick the stone up, put it over the bar, the other guy picks it up and, and puts it back. And they go until uh, somebody cannot pick up the stone any longer. So um, they did this a, a few years ago with, a, with a, a stone that was too light and it ended up really not working out well. Uh, and I, I really, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of, of uh, that, la you know, the, that, that kind of battle because you're waiting um, the Atlas Stone event and the stone loading event in general much more than the other events. So for example, somebody could be in second place and, you know, I don't know, two, three, four points clear of third place and that, that doesn't matter. So if you're really good in the first four events but don't happen to be in first place, then you have to go into the stone battle and your points lead doesn't matter anymore and then you're you're going into the final the other thing is that event is happening on the third day of the competition so literally that's the day right before the final so it's not going to help uh any of the guys that have to do the the uh the stone battle it's going to make them uh, really tired and it's going to make it very very hard to do well in in the final um because the final is a five event competition on the last day so the format is two events the first day two events the second day uh, if you're in second or third place on the third day, you do the stone battle and then the fourth day is the five event final. So it's a much more compact world's strongest man this year. Uh, typically we have four days of qualifiers, then two days off and then two days of final. Uh, so everything is much more condensed, much more compact. Um, it's a whole different format this year, less competitors, less events, uh, kind of across the board. So. It is what it is. I mean, those. Uh, finally, I have all the information, uh, and and it's crazy to, to be getting the details um, at the competition. I, I mean, it, it's happened before, but um, at least I think I knew before I got on the airplane uh, the other years with World Strongest Man. So, whatever you just the best way to take this is take it in stride. Just be ready to go, and um, just be confident, really, uh, in in um, you know. And what I can do is, is the biggest thing that I can do right now. So I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. I had a really good day. Um, I'm relaxed. I'm, I'm uh, feeling good. So now it's time to get one more meal in, wrap it up, and uh, get some good rest and get ready for tomorrow. Mm -hmm.